when the residents of Jacksonville, Florida, found a seven-year-old boy drenched in water standing on their doorstep. They had no idea he would ask them to help his father and little sister stuck in the strong currents of the nearby river. The little hero of our story, Chase Poust, has a younger sister, Abigail, who he loves dearly. The kids often go outdoors with their father, Stephen Poust, who had never imagined his son would save him and his daughter from drowning one day. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the store. It was a usual day for the family when they went fishing in St. John's River in Jacksonville, Florida, on May 28, 2021. The kids were excited to catch some fish and swim in the water, unaware of fate's plans. While Stephen was fishing from his anchored boat, his kids jumped into the water, hoping they would have a good time. According to the law, it was only compulsory for four-year-old Abigail to wear a life vest on the kind of boat Stephen had. That meant Chase wasn't wearing a life vest when he jumped into the water. While the kids were in the river, they kept holding the boat, so they didn't go too far from their father. Suddenly, a massive current struck the kids, making Abigail lose her grip on the boat. When the little girl started drifting away, Chase went to grab her and lost hold of the boat. Stephen left his fishing rod, and without thinking twice, quickly jumped into the water to save his children. What he hoped would be a fun-filled day suddenly turned into a nightmare. While Chase headed towards the dry land, Stephen suddenly lost hold of his daughter and probably felt frightened watching her float away. After jumping into the water, Stephen realized he would need extra help to save his children and himself. He quickly came up with a plan to return to shore safely. I told them both I loved them because I wasn't sure what was going to happen, Stephen confessed. Then he told Chase to swim back to the shore and get someone to rescue them. Chase recalled, I felt really scared. The shore was a mile away from where Chase had begun swimming. He confessed it was tough to swim that way because the current was in the opposite direction. He quickly rushed towards the first house he spotted and began knocking impatiently. The residents answered the door, and Chase was then connected to the authorities in Jacksonville. Officials from the Florida Fish and Wildlife and the first responders from Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department headed towards Stephen and Abigail. The authorities reached Stephen and his daughter an hour later and quickly pulled them to safety. The father believed God intervened and helped his son cover the long distance all by himself. Stephen added, Little man, made it to shore and got help, and that's what saved our lives. The current was so strong that my sister, she usually hangs out at the back of the boat and she let go. So I, so I let go of the boat and I grabbed her and then I was stuck. Oh yes, that's why I did dead, that's why I floated on my back. I told them both I loved them because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. And I tried to stick with her as long as I could, and both of them really. I wore myself out. Stephen later revealed that he and Abigail were in the river for about two hours before the authorities rescued them. He also said he kept screaming for help so the officials could easily spot them. Chase's story quickly gained people's attention. A news conference was held where an official from the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department said, We're happy to say all three have been recovered, and all three are doing well. When an interviewer asked Chase how he managed to swim a mile and get his family to safety, he replied, I have no idea. 